Hello guys, uh, welcome back. So this time I'm uh, I'm playtesting uh, the Millennium Dawn uh, missile system again. I've been doing this once before, uh, but this time it should have all the correction that I commented on last time. So hopefully it should be a little easier to figure out. And let me just think, who do I actually want to play as? Mm. Just need to look at the guide because you got some recommended uh, nations. Uh. All right. Uh, we'll go with Israel again. Uh. They are the smallest country, as far as I can see, that are that actually are supposed to uh, supposed to uh, be tested. And I'll just remove this because I don't want that. And let's start. Like when I usually play, that's a couple of options I usually go with. Uh, one of them is disabling guarantee nation because as soon as you ra uh, rise, <coughs> as soon as the world tension rises just a bit. Everyone begins to gu guarantee everyone, so you can't really conquer anything without starting World War Three. And the other thing is, I also usually uh, disable NATO because that uh, NATO will uh, will uh, form if uh, one of the NATO nations is attacked, and that means that the the entire uh, entire world will be at war if a NATO NATO nation attacks uh, because of the world tension. And let's just see. Yep. And we need to get some industry. Move this, move this. Get working on some guns. A vehicle. Uh, Artillery and uh, mounted ATMs to begin with. This way, I got the most of what I need for uh, for motorized equipment at least. And let's start out with some infrastructure. And. As soon as the infrastructure is good in Galilee, I want some more civilian factories. And let's see. I want that. I'm gonna be using special forces as soon as I can. I want new IFVs. Artillery I can't really take yet. I'll wait with that. Let's increase my research. And yeah. Mm. Oh, that's still a thing. And I just need to report that again. And yeah. Got the check in here as well this time. Let me just look it over. Mm. And what I still, what I also asked last time was that they actually had. They had some uh, description on them, uh, the satellites in the uh, in the research tab, so you can actually see why you're building it. Uh, 
should, I should be building it. Also, uh, I think that it needs to have a description at the top of the research tree, so I actually know what the stuff is. And he corrected, uh, like uh, I said last time, uh, I mentioned that you shouldn't be able to take uh, the higher uh, SAM launches without the prior ones. Otherwise you could just skip a lot of uh, research steps. And he fixed that, but the visual still looks kind of odd. This time I'm gonna remember not to. Oh well, I actually need to. But that might ruin the place. Ooh, he got. He actually got the uh, DOI. Yeah. So that's nice. And let's just set this. Oh, it costs. Oh, yeah. He fixed it so it costs political power as well, so I can't just change it around. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. It says it require political power. I just want to see, that's one of the one of the bugs I reported last time. Oh, I can't even change it, so that's good. He fixed that. Alright. And one of the things last time, now I remember Israel because I played that as well. One of the things I really like is for a return button. Uh, when you're not playing, like if I click... Uh, Sweden, and I need to find Israel suddenly. I now remember that it's here, but I might need to like search a lot of nations to find this. So it would be nice to have a return button instead, uh, just to uh, to uh, to make it easier. What's it called? Quality of life. Cool. Yeah, I can't remember. I'll just write it out. Alright, 
let's just return to Israel. Alright, let's... I actually want to start out this out because I want to see if I get nuclear nation. I didn't. Alright, that's good. Because last time... I have to do this. Last time I got a debuff that gave me minus 10 uh, civilian factories because they thought I was producing uh, nuclear uh, nuclear arms uh, and that uh, yeah made it impossible for me to do anything even though I, I didn't have any nuclear possibilities. I'll just try it again once I have uh, researched a nuclear reactor. <coughs> oh, I don't know why my voice is so, uh, what's it called, coarse right now. And let's get this as well. Mm -hmm. I actually want to see this. And And these fives up here. Now I understand it after playing it a couple of times. But the first time I played it, I didn't. So I figured that there should be some kind of description in the localization. Uh, so you actually know why you're getting this. on this and uh, let's just yep remove this and we we got the troops we're supposed to right now I just need armor experience I also believe like there should be some kind of explanation of what this does because otherwise I'm just saying yeah to something I don't know and I still haven't figured what they actually do yet so that that seems kind of uh, important For now, let's just say yes. Let's figure that uh, America, America got Israel's best interest at hand, and yeah, they keep offering. And I'm just pushing for as many civil factories as quickly as possible because Israel got so many military factories, so they got a lot uh, civilians taken out by tax. They get a lot taken out by tax. Um, 
And let's get some high political power. Ugh. All right, let's look at popularity here. So, if I want someone else in chess, I should actually push for it. And I do. I prefer Monikers or Israel Defense Force. Last time I went with Israel Defense Force, so I still think I'll go with Monikers this time, just for the for the fun of it. All right. But I should also get some nuclear deterrence to actually increase my political power gain. I remember last time that gave me quite a lot. Oh, they keep wanting to give me access to something, so I'm just saying yes to it all. Oh, it's the same. Yeah, all right. It was just the same three times. And possible housing bubble. Alright, and let's get the nuclear deterrence. And we're going for the highest possible. We can't. Uh, Alright, we'll go for nuclear power then. Oh, he actually changed it so it's... Alright. That's nice, because last time it I had minus 10 civil industries. Uh, but that completely ruined uh, me as Israel, because I weren't... Uh, <coughs> I weren't able to actually get the... Uh, uh, I, I didn't have 10. I had like 4 civil industries. So I weren't able, able to grow at all. Uh, Right, let me just test something. If I remove it, does the idea get removed again? No, it doesn't. All right. And just gonna report this. Uh. Right, and just so I don't waste political power and uh, testing, I'll just add the hundred that it costs. And because I actually want the doctrine due to due to uh, the extra political power it gives me, and we'll go for massive retaliation. Right. <coughs> so that gives me quite a lot of more political power, like I. I increased it by 200%. But I also got some minus stability, so that also reduced a bit of my political power, but not enough to not want to do it. And let's go for this. Alright, oh, I should. Yeah, I'll take that after. I also want the uh, minus tax reduction, as that also gives free uh, factories as soon as you actually got factories uh, coming out to uh, tax cost.
Oh, we're actually not that much in deficit right now. And yeah, here we have the bug again. And And we want right, we want to recover faster. I really want to, like the the thing I want the most. I know a lot of people want uh, want nuclear warheads and explosions and such. The thing I actually want to try the most is sending out satellites. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on uh, this first playthrough. And what I can use to. <coughs> To actually improve on my nation the most is the is the what's it called uh, navigation satellite as the uh, the what uh, the effects the modifiers here that's the best in my opinion for your nation to increase like resource grain efficiency and construction and infrastructure and uh, construction speed and these all are more uh, in line with uh, actually attacking people. Oh yes, research speed, reconnaissance uh, satellite. That's also good. But Israel already start already starts ahead on tech, so that's not as important for me. But that could actually like that could be really good for some of the minor nations if they rush for a reconnaissance satellite to get some uh, extra research speed. And let's get that research speed as well. That's also, uh, like, uh, if you've seen me before playing Hearts of Iron, I always go for uh, for increased, uh, increased research speed or construction speed quickly, just to get the most out of it. Or, like, having high, uh, high production, uh, uh, the, the best production equipment before taking all the secondary effects. Like, all of this, uh, that's just pure gain. But if you get that later, it'll still increase everything. Where if you get your big guns later, you'll have the shorter time to actually construct the guns. So, yeah. All right, and I forgot again that they actually have defense companies. So we're getting that first. Oh, I still haven't actually. Still actually haven't changed my uh, diplomacy around. <coughs> yeah. First thing I need though is to reduce. Likud's uh, popularity because that uh, they'll be get to power as soon as uh, we get an election currently. Well, th the most important for me is to actually get a, a nationalist uh, government in charge. Uh, and since secondary, it would be nice if it was actually monarchist or Israeli defense force. But yeah, let's just take one in this. And then one the other because then uh, as soon as we attack Likud, the their popularity will spread on all four parties instead of uh, just one or two.
I hit there. And now we should be able to attack Likud. Just to make sure that they're under the, my national's power. And I'm still losing money. But that's not that big of an issue right now. My interest rate is still quite low. Uh, one this is gonna be our uh, uh, our garrison brigade as soon as we actually oh I can't do that already then let's get rid of you then I just need my special forces as well uh, but let's start out with this uh, like actually I usually never go for airborne so I'll actually do this this time Let, let's just see if I remember to utilize it at some point because I'm not the best at remembering that a lot of the time I, I actually just forget and just try to steamroll the enemy instead of uh, power drumming but I got so so, so, so much uh, air possibility as Israel so it would make sense to actually try it Oh, I'm really burping a lot due to the cola. Ah, uh, wrong way. Ah, oh, damn. Like this. And like that, let's get our transport planes over here. So I guess we'll also put that in a hundred air wing. I don't know why that would matter though. My uh, economic cycle really is going to shit though. Alright, I had some had some political power. Now I have even more. And let's just attack. Alright, they're getting too much, so let's just start out like this. Because the thing is we don't want the Labour Party to be higher than twenty, because that's how shares is gonna be or the other money uh, or the monarchist, depending on what I actually managed to get by the time of the election. I actually don't know the election system well enough because I'm just thinking I believe that they need like 45 percentage before being able to just instantly form because sometimes you have a party that just instantly forms so you don't have the decision to take another party uh, but I believe I tried that when it wasn't at 45 percent because if that's true then I actually don't have to manipulate politics up here anymore then I just need to move it around to be monarchist down here so I actually think I'll start out by doing that and then in case I just have more political power in the end I'll just do it just to make sure And 
let's just check the railroad, uh, the infrastructure first, because that I might actually uh, make other guys want to invest in me. Uh, let's just take industrial projects and. Research. Wait, we got multiple. We also had uh, a special forces, so let's take that. And I'm already reaching that. Mm, I would want to go construction, but let's let's get for go for the nav navigation system and get some high uh, high tire satellites as quickly as possible and try to launch them as soon as we can. Seeing as I actually start with six military factories, I don't really need that much more as Israel. So I'll actually go for civilian factories and then just gain military factories by attacking uh, attacking my neighbors. Like a pro. And Yep, 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 yep. They invested in Galley. So let's just make sure that Galilee have a spot open for them. And let's combine this. Get a new... Wait, have I actually done that? Yep. Get a new naval officer. He's not good enough. He's even worse. Holy shit. What's happening? Why do I keep getting such horrible uh, admirals? Alright, one more try, then I can be asked. Oh, well he at least have some... Navy layer attack, capital ship attack. Mm. Yeah, let's just go for him. And let's just divide it up. We want two different ones. And like this. Oh, I actually have some oil left. I should go for biofuel refineries as well. I forgot that. Oh, that's why I don't need. I need some biofile refinery in every state. Oh, and they give only have one available spot left. So I actually shouldn't construct civilian factories there. And same in deer plains. And golden. Oh damn. The rest needs to be biofuel refineries. Kelly, Judea Plain, Goland, oh, and the Gev as well. No, like this. Uh, the reason I need a lot of fuel is because I got such a large uh, air force as Israel. Uh, otherwise, it'll just run out as soon as I begin uh, begin attacking, and then my air force will be for nothing. I actually want to invest in this as well. Because I'm gonna take Palestine. Alright, I won't actually have a call on them, so I need to. to annex them the old way. Alright. Let's get to research slot. And 
Such boost to Monicus. I still got over a year until it's actually election time, so I should have plenty of time. I really like the idea of a uh, of a kingdom of Israel. All right. I would actually. I would actually uh, drill my. Uh, Army to get the experience with if it wasn't because I was lacking fuel as it is. And I want the possibility of having a full fuel at the time I actually need to go to war with someone like Jordan. I actually really like the labor union. That requires a lot of political power. Just notice, like I feel like I've, I've been playing too many branches uh, lately of uh, different uh, versions of uh, mod, but I feel like I've noticed that it runs noticeably uh, slower than uh, than the other uh, other versions. <coughs> I'm not sure though; uh, it might just be me. Uh, So now nah, we'll go for political power. Oh, I could go for the nationalists. Right, so that'll actually also give nationalists uh, support. But I'll win the election either way, so I'll wait with that until I actually get in into office. <coughs> because you get more stability uh, from having gained, uh, gained what's it called, uh, more popularity since you were elected. And all right, let's go for a nuclear reactor. More political power due to affection. I think as soon as I have guaranteed that the monarchist gets in power, my next political power is actually going to go to changing to labor unions, because I won't be able to do that if the nationalists get in power. So I actually need to rush that, even though I also want to change my taxes so I stop being in a deficit.
a... I just noticed I don't think this branch actually actually have the investment uh, bug fixed but that's because that they it haven't been merged yet because it's been fixed on all the branches so that should also be merged but that's a minor thing because that has nothing to do with the actual branch that would be fixed anyway uh, that's just for for better playtesting that I want that mm. right let's improve our army as much as possible and I want as priority fighters So I was actually testing, playtesting another game uh, just the other day, uh, another branch, uh, that was the faction branch, uh, I got to, to uh, 20, uh, 24, uh, 2004, like, uh, before uh, stopping that playthrough, but that was because I wanted to go to bed, and then I saw that uh, Papinian uh, actually said he wanted this playtester, so... I really like to try that uh, because I really enjoyed the the missile system last time. It gives so many new options. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this actually being fully implemented. I think this is going to be a great addition to the to the mod, even though I was uh, doubtful in the beginning because I figured that it would be uh, tough, and it kind of is. It's tough to learn, but it gives so many more options to what you can do in just of sitting and just waiting. Also gives uh, an entire new perspective uh, to the game. I'm not happy that the the liquid actually got more power than uh, than my monikers right now. So I'll just to be completely sure, I'll I'll reduce it because otherwise I'll have to wait such a long time before uh, before being able to invade if uh, I don't get the nationalist in power at the first uh, possible election. Uh, I'm losing a lot too, taxes. I'm thinking about just going all out uh, in getting my economy destroyed. Uh, but I shouldn't. I'll end up destroying my playthrough if I'm unlucky due to the fact that some major nation will declare war on me. Let's uh, attack. 
Yeah, that's what I feared. Secondly, to boost the two other guys again, just to make sure <coughs> that they don't get above. Because if I attack them again, the Labour Party will be above Monica's, and then it uh, really doesn't matter. So let's boost the other guys instead. And now the Monica's are the most popular party. So no reason to do that. Now we just need to sit back and wait for me to get thousand uh, thousand political power to actually choose the labor unions. Uh, uh, uh. And what to do in the meantime? Oh, that's why I couldn't understand why sometimes my my fuel capacity would increase a lot. That's due to the fact. Oh, I don't think I don't even know if this is the steam version, but civilian factories and well, uh, most factories cost fuel now, so you have extra incentive to actually get fuel because if you just run an entire nation uh, with maxed out uh, capacity without having any fuel, your army won't get any fuel either, <coughs> so that'll really cripple you. Like uh, we started out with the idea where we actually had reduced reduction speed and stuff like that if you didn't live up to the fuel but that that pretty much couldn't uh, like it was too too big of a malice so we wanted something else but uh, we didn't know what and then we figured out like if you if you're running without fuel you're gonna be crippled anyway because if you try to go to war with an army that don't have any fuel you're gonna get beat Yeah, I actually want that, so that's nice. They just gave it to me for free. That reduced my, my trade from mixed economy to export. That actually reduced my oil because I can't uh, consume as much of my own oil, but that, that doesn't really matter right now. I don't have enough oil to support my, my nation anyway, so I'll have to trade myself to it. I'm still pushing for that. Oh, nope. I did the wrong one again. So when this runs out, I'll wait until uh, I got another focus because then I could get a, uh, yet another research slot. I really want that. That that's that's one of the things with uh, the missile system. That's it also require a lot more research slots to actually uh, be able to keep up with all of this. Mm. So you also need to like decide what you're gonna do. Conventional warheads. Oh. I don't want that. Right now I want satellites. I got these guys. I got as high as possible. But I still need the... The DNS one. Mm. Do my army need anything else? I don't think so. So... My Air Force should be next.
let's just look at this because I actually have a reconnaissance satellite yeah, there but I only have that at the lowest possible so I need to try this now I already forgot what it's called mm, satellite does that not have any like I know the navigation is called GNS Come spy, oh, the, is it called spy? Uh, ground sample distance. Yeah, seeing it affects spy, uh, spy satellites, it should be. And uh, I'll just link this as well. Oh, that's the wrong channel. I figure that it's the spy one, so let's try that. And I'm guessing, right? That's another thing. I need actual stats. I'm guessing it's the OFIC 9, but let's just make sure. Yeah, it is. So, Spy Satellite, OFIC 9, we want one. We're only committing one civilian. And let's start this. Right, I'm just thinking like, I get the idea that it shows up in decision system, uh, in the decision tab, but I don't think it's that important as you can see it in the missile tab, that you should look here anyway. But the problem is, it's fine if it just shows up in the decision tab and there's nothing uh, wrong with that, but if this actually puts a strain on the, uh, on the runtime of the mod, that should be removed in my opinion. doing 
Right. Satellites I got. I'm pretty well off with those. Uh, yeah, I also need to know what an RRBM is because I have no idea. So it should have some kind of description where you actually get to know what what are you actually trying to make. Mm. So what should I try now? Launch control center. Ballistic missiles. I don't know if I want that. Can I fire? What is this? Anti satellite weapon. Uh, what do I actually require to send off missiles? Is it an IBM I need for all of them? No, I see BM. I think so. So I'll I'll try to I'll research one of those. I'm just looking. Oh. I can actually construct that, but shouldn't I only be allowed to do that after? Uh, Alright, that seems strange. I'm just wondering why I'm allowed to build ballistic missile silos before I actually have uh, the research for it. And and let's get that little power. All right. I s oh, this is going to be a close one. I don't know if I can actually get to a thousand uh, political power by the time uh, the election happens. I at least need to remember not to spend any, because then otherwise I'll be in trouble. Uh -oh. Right, I just noticed that the national uh, ideas they keep uh, being the furthest behind, even that uh, even though I just got the the one that gave me extra political power, and that might be because that they keep checking, and if they check too often, that might be what's causing a strain on the on the system. So I'll just write that up.
Uh, uh, and I'm out of oil, of fuel. Mm -hmm. And it's quite some time to actually get some. Uh, to actually get some. Uh, Biofuel refineries, that's what I was trying to say. Right, so I actually created my spy satellite. That's missiles. So I crafted another spy satellite, but I need to figure out how do I actually send it off. Oh yeah, that's actually how. Uh, all right. Oh, there, there. And. I just noticed that they had a different uh, picture that confuses a bit. don't know did I actually have any of that no I don't so let's just fire off pillow mass yeah I can't that because my shepherd cell my shepherd missile is too low so how do I actually do that do I actually have research do I have the Shevat missile researched? I do, Shevat 1. But I don't have the next, that's because I need the Jericho block. Alright, and I'm actually on my way to do that. But let's just see if I can get a Shevat 1. That was complete luck. Oh, I actually have two in storage. But why did it say that it didn't? It didn't. I already had shared one, but then not enough. Launch mass, payload mass. I need to have more payload mass than I have launch mass. I don't on this one. So we need better missiles before I can launch my satellite. So that's our next step. Alright, I just want to check something. Payload mass, if I take this, what about if I take this? And yeah, then it's lower. 
How high do I need to go? Let's say I want the effect 9. Alright, I would be able to launch that. Us, yeah, 3. Oh wait. Maybe I should not go for nuclear warheads right now as I'm actually focusing satellites. But I have I should have enough research to do both though. Oh yeah, that's yeah. We have a, a lot of depth wars going on actually. Second Congo war. Oh. That's the initial one. Solomon and Librarian. No, that's actually mo ma mainly the startup ones. Ah, oh, excellent land least again. Damn it, I keep forgetting. And let's get some reduced tax. Oh, it's gonna be a close one with the labor unions. It's gonna be a close call. Oh, Egypt just declared one in Palestine. I'm guessing that's due to debt. It wasn't. And I need the Jericho missile. I got something researching that. Hmm. Do I have everything else I want? Yeah, I'll just take camouflage.
I think I'll just barely uh, manage to get it in time. And go go labor unions. Yeah, so that's that's good timing. Nope. Attack the non line because the nationalists we want. And now I need to remember not to take the land lease before my focus is ready. And let's get the monikers in power. And let's just ignore everything else now. Because we got monikers in power. And let's get the Jerichos. Oh, I just got a lot of political power. I think that was from uh, from the coalition uh, I had before that got dissolved. But let's just see if I don't if I uh, I'm not gonna lose a lot now that uh, the form government is gonna be ignored. Oh, but we could might as well just fix our economy with the ones we got. At least try to. And uh, let's see, can I land lease yet? No, we'll just wait for that. As soon as I can actually lease, uh, I'll keep saying land lease, just lease nice uh, civilian factories, then I'll uh, take the uh, next research slot. And Mirage. Let's get some pure as pure fighters. Now it hit me. So I got the government. I got low stability due to the fact that my current uh, political power is not uh, is not that superior. But uh, it's gonna increase due to the fact that I'm gonna get uh, uh, gonna get uh, nationalist rise uh, soon. And I got this. Uh, I just need to remember. What do I usually get with my... I can't remember that currently. Oh yeah, it's heavy... Uh, heavy engineers I need to keep up with my, my motorized. So I actually need like 50... Uh, army experience to actually complete my motorized division. That's tough. Can I actually train some of these? I can. Alright. Let's just get some more armored division just uh, so I actually have an army. And another thing is the supplies. I need as much focus on getting my troop supplied as possible. That's not gonna matter in the first war against uh, Palestine, but it's gonna matter against Jordan. And 
I actually have enough utility vehicles to fill out my supply. That's nice. Mm -mm. Oh, and was the Jericho 3 missile actually enough? I believe it was. Oh no, it's the Shiver 3 I needed. I needed the Jericho 3 to get the Shiver 3. Oh, it's Jer Jericho Block 3. Uh, 3. It's Jericho 3 Block 1. That's one, uh, what I need to get the Shiver. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I need to research both, both these two at the same time. So that's fine. That's I'm getting another research slot in a moment, so that that should be focused on that. Oh, damn, I'm tired. And I'm not going to choose the last one here because that's going to be a waste. I'm going to take this interventionism anyway and that'll boost it down. So that's going to be my ne next international diplomacy alignment. So that'll take some time. And let's just continue down the nuclear warhead for now. So I got those ready when I need them. The starting armor division actually got fine stats, uh, but it's not as much of an armor division as I, I would like it to. Let's just see. Do we have anything that finishes around the same time? Yeah, we do. So let's focus this on something else. What's a MEV? Alright. And I remember that from Fallout or something, but I oh damn, but I can't remember what the MIV actually is. International diplomacy and what should we choose? Hmm, I'll actually go for I think I'll go for my transport planes because I actually built some uh, paratroops. My motorized is going to be an air drop division, so I might as well get the best uh, transport planes as well. I don't really need to reinforce at full capacity. Mm -mm -mm. 
Oh, I got a deficit bit. That's just because I've created their wings. And I won't get anything out of training them due to the fact that I have no fuel. And it doesn't really look like I'll be getting any. And that's the TNS. Uh, I need more of those. Right, I didn't actually investigate if I could send up with anything else. Oh, it's only the Shevet that's here. Oh, but no, I have the other one research. Uh, 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 Alice, as for bailout. Yeah. I ah, fuck it, let's just take it. As long as it doesn't remove the uh, research slots. Oh, and it's actually from Judeo Plane, so that's fine, because then I can get another. Uh, another uh, biofuel refinery. And tank manufacturers, fixed air wings. Right. And my next political power will go into reducing my uh, my corruption, just to get some more monitors and increase research speeds, of course. But yeah, my uh, my economy is still not doing that well. And I just keep uh, leasing civil factories because I really need that to boost my own civil factories capacity. And Jacob, oh yeah, I forgot that. I don't, I can't even research the Shevet yet because I still need that one. Hopefully, when I start getting puppets, they'll uh, they'll give me some of the civil factories, and that'll. Uh, Increase my pr production speed because I'm really building slowly right now. Like the, the fight against Palestine, I don't want to uh, lease some fuel, but I sh probably should when I'm fighting Jordan just to make sure I got the uh, S priority. Let's just get construction speed, I actually need that. I could actually use the... Uh, Alright, I forgot about that. If you have mandatory search for women... Oh no, it's only required the same amount to jump each level. Because uh, if you remove the mandatory to partial uh, draft, you'll, uh, you, you'll get removed the mandatory search for women as well. So... But yeah, let's just jump down the line. just need two. I can't remember what's the uh, no step backs uh, combat with.
plains is on eighty mountains twenty five. All right. Yeah, I'm just looking up the combat with now. Actually, it says that you shouldn't go above 40 combat width. Uh. So let's just try to keep it below that. Because that's, that's the thing, after no step back, Combat width change, and uh, at the moment, uh, Millennium Dawn got the same combat width as Standard, where we used to have a uh, larger combat width. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, I can also change this. Alright, and finally, now I'll go for the reduce, reduction of corruption uh, with my political power. And after that, the next step is gonna be uh, removing uh, foreign influence because uh, that way I can actually default on my debt with no uh, no problem if I need to. And right now, my my debt is not really correct in itself, unfortunately. I don't really care. The thing that I haven't, that I've done the least research about on in Hearts of Iron is uh, intelligence. I really don't have a lot of knowledge on what's uh, how how it works, like what intelligence you go with. I I know that having the superior intelligence actually gives a bit of combat uh, advantage, but I don't know how much it actually does. Like, how does it compare to uh, to just having uh, like better units and such? Uh, I'd figure that. The best units would still be superior, but as I said, I do actually not know because I haven't have researched uh, into that. And this and let's start to increase our construction speed. Uh, and let's lease some factories. Oh, I'm lacking trains right now. So let's go for that. Uh, 
and let's just go for the next one just to make the army happy. But now we actually need to justify on power sign. Alright, and I got the Jericho block. So now I'm going. Oh god, it was the next one. <laughs> Alright. Uh, right, I just f just thought about, like, uh, look at Palestine. And I figured that if it's possible, maybe this should not be at the top, all of these offer uh, satellite access. Uh, as I don't think you'll, you'll be changing that much. Like, either you'll. Get the access, offer the access, or not. So you won't keep keep spamming these, but you will with justify, improve, send cashier, all these. So this should be uh, moved down to the bottom at least, in my opinion. And let's get reduce corruption. Oh, that's my army. Oh, alright, that was after I deployed. Deployed troops, I believe. Uh, I took a large hit in my economy. Yeah. How long till I can take another? I'm v def to leave. Uh, alright, that's still some time. And da, 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 I want some artillery. But do I though? If I take this, I'll get to 40. I'd like to stay with that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I was just reading up on some uh, some about the combat with again. Now let's go for this. Right, and we got military list. And uh, what do I actually want to do? I could increase the labor units this way. I'll go for that. That also gives me extra civilian factors that I solely need right now. Oh. My economic cycle is really changing a lot in this playthrough. I feel like that's half the events I'm getting. Alright, I'm soon at 10% interest rate again. And a 
Oh, is the Hercules actually that old? That's a bit disappointing. I know that the, the Danish army is still using this plane, so... Uh, super oh, Super alright, alright, I actually don't know if they upgraded to that. I just know it's called Hercules. And it's really shit to sit in, so... And travel in. Alright, we got new imperialism, we're ready to declare war. How long? Alright. 100 days, I should be there. Uh -uh. Oh, I'm yawning like crazy. Oh. And... I still see in Jericho. Oh. The DNS. I didn't know I stopped researching that. Oh, famine. That's not nice. Oh, it didn't actually decrease. So it didn't hit me as hard as I feared. to make some aggressive battle plans. Palestine is not gonna have an army anyway, so I'm just gonna steamroll them. I'm just happy like I don't think the AI knows how to power drop because otherwise they would have uh, Egypt should have power dropped into Palestine now. Alright. Alright, so could I, I can actually conquer Palestine, Jordan, Hamas, and Lebanon. The question is, like, I only need to conquer one of them. Because if you get Hamas, then uh, if I puppet annex them, I'll get the uh, Hezbollah, I mean. Uh, then I get the cause on all of, uh, of Lebanon anyway. Then I can just conquer them afterwards. Otherwise, I need to actually uh, reduce the... Autonomy of two nations instead of one. So I think I'll just go for Palestine, Jordan, then uh, Lebanon. Ah, Hezbollah. Palestine. Or I could just take Hezbollah first because they're um, they are minor compared to Jordan. Yeah, I'll I'll be doing that and. Right. Oh, it's actually the Judaran plane. It's gonna increase my. All right. Oh, I also forgot. I should invest in biofuels. I'll I'll I'll, I'll still go for the labor unions first. And I got enough political power now, so I want to remove foreign influence. And in the meanwhile, I'll also just combat the foreign influence by, by uh, increasing my domestic independence. Uh, that way it's higher and it's going to be harder for foreigners to actually try and take, uh, take over my nation uh, with influence. And I need something to eat now, so I'll be right back.
And I'm back. Right, and let's just see. I think I accidentally left it running while I was getting some food. So I just have some stuff I need to start researching. Alright, five fuel. I will completely forgot about that one. And let's just take all Palestine. Yep. Like, I was thinking about taking Lebanon instead of Hezbollah due to the fact that they got more territory and therefore more factories, but I can't be asked to actually uh, to power drop just in case it fails. And. I have hills, so it won't be as much of a problem. Just see my armor division. Hills, yeah, minus eight percent attack. I know, but if they with pure tanks, they might have been, yeah, it would have been worse. I do wonder why it is. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, damn it. Well, at least I don't need to go. F yeah, well, I still. Oh, I don't have more than ten factories. Is that because they are not paying license now? That might actually be it. That really destroyed. I got five. I got one. My four from imports. I don't understand that. Oh, now it actually says 606. Alright, and Yugoslavia couldn't handle that debt, that's why Russia declared war on them. Oh no. And they've actually gone, gone Western. So that's a risk that this will turn out to be World War Three at some point. Which tab did this go into? Might have been here. Oh, right, share it. Now I just need another one to actually. Increase, let's just see, yeah, because the Jericho, I still need that. Political power now. 
Uh, but I don't want to default on my tabs until I actually reduce everyone's uh, in influence on me. Otherwise I'll end up uh, having to go to war with one of them. Go for this. My depth is really spiraling out of control though. How much will it pay off? That's not enough. Mm. Why did it spiral out of control like that? Is that because of my military? I do have a lot of air force. Aside from in industry, that's actually my highest uh, expense in my uh, in my entire military. I reduce my armor division a bit. Oh, the Syrian civil war is still going on. Oh, and the Muslim Brotherhood is winning. This is actually a blessed timeline. Assad is getting his ass kicked. Assad. Oh, and they actually wanted to to pay their license again now. And let's get the United Kingdoms out of the country. I actually don't want to fight Egypt, at least, so I think that's going to be my focus when uh, when I've uh, combated all the influences to uh, try to influence Egypt to take them over as a puppet uh, without war. Don't know if it's actually possible though. What I also should get is actually some convoys, that's the easiest way to reduce uh, autonomy. And the uh, nations. Oh, for fuck's sake! I hate when this happens because uh, my lease ran out. I didn't have enough factories to support this. Mm. I'm just gonna go for nail base to get convoys, and but that'll fuck up my economy as well. I'll go for the army reform. Just putting this down because I just want it to be very large and it's gonna increase once I get it, so might as well just have it uh, down below one. Just to save that money.
And I'll actually stop researching transport planes because I actually have enough that I want to research now. Uh, let's start out with utility cars. Seeing I'm going for 40 combat with it's. I, I haven't tried this before, that's why uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out like. What will it get if I go like this? Alright, let's have to go in 40. So that's, that's what I want to do. I just don't want this just because the lack of resource penalty is going to be high, higher and I actually lack a lot of research, uh, uh, resources. Uh, but I need some fuel. Oh damn, I haven't taken the next one. Ah, oh. I'm going to go ahead and do this because I need the Jericho. Yeah, that's the problem when you need multiple researches happening at the same time. And I'm not good at multitasking. And... Nope. Nothing else I want here. Next thing I want here though is to actually default. Because until I can actually start annexing my my puppets, I'm gonna I'm gonna be spiraling uh, out of control in depth. Or oh, oh, damn, I already hit hit this one. Then I'll actually default already. All right, and I actually have it's low enough that no one's gonna declare war on me. But I'm still gonna keep uh, trying to reduce the uh, influence. Worst case scenario, like if it suddenly says that the uh, United States wants to declare war, then I'll just pull concessions to America, and that usually does it. I can actually choose this now. Oh, that's quick. I still have very high uh, mi a minus and weekly balance. That's hitting me like a motherfucker. Mm. But I got the sheer. Three, all right. I can't remember us. Ah, oh, we. I just have two. Wait, was that actually enough? I can't remember because otherwise there's no reason for me. She have two. And it was not. So there's no reason for me to actually research that yet. I need to share three. For people that hasn't uh, seen it yet, this is also like the new in economical system where I can default and make concession and all this to actually uh, f uh, figure out my debt. 
So that's a lot of uh, in-depth mechanics about the economy uh, also coming in the next update. Yeah, we had quite a lot actually coming up in the next update. Entire econ rework, the entire military, hopefully missiles will be ready as well. Um, some focus trees and uh, yeah, a lot of stuff. Should feel like playing an entirely new game. If we should actually cut in any spendings to uh, unfuck my economy right now, it would be in the military, as I have enough. Like I got, uh, I got six military factories. That's more than enough for such a small nation. All right, and I actually did did my trains. So once I get the last train, I'm I'm going for an IFVs because that's what I'm liking right now. And did I actually? I didn't do that yet. So now my armor template is finished as well. Now I only my need my special forces template. And was it actually in mountains as well? Right, and mountain divisions need to be twenty-five with. Now let's just start our special force template while we wait. This is actually gonna be one of the smallest templates I've ever created. Twenty-five. And let's let's get down the experience. Oh, they're also doing quite bad, the economy-wise. This is gonna be fun. I don't know, for some reason it says they should be stronger than me. But they don't have an air, air force, do they? No, doesn't seem like it. Oh, I also never actually got new generals. Alright, hopefully if nothing else, it'll actually uh, be a way for me to get uh, convoys, as that's usually how they want to uh, support support you in war if you run out of convoys yourself. And I'll just throw all my convoys to these guys to reduce the autonomy. That way I'm certain that I have none and that the uh, other nations will actually try to send me convoys. And let's get some economic cycle. Oh, I actually I reduced it a bit. 
So I'm not getting hit as hard. Ah, let's check both of these. One is giving uh, water support, one is giving uh, stability at the cost of water support, but I actually need the stability. It's funny that uh, more people are not invested in me fighting Hezbollah. And they are they improving. I just figured that they might have uh, have uh, a little lease for some of these guys. I still have no fuel. I just want to test if I can actually uh, just throw fuel, uh, just throw planes at them and then uh, destroy them that way. So I'm just getting all the fuel I can. See if that's enough. If I just get one as priority fighter wing. And my helicopter's too close as port. That way I have S priority. And now I need to remember to get the Jericho the next research I get. And all right. It's looking good. Yep. The S priority is so insane. Like you really need S priority to do anything in this game. Oh, I forgot. I was also att attacking with no fuel before. That that also uh, that will cause a lot of malices to uh, to your attack power. And we have his ball as well. Oh, what's the Israeli occupied Lebanon? And they're going to be attacking hills and urban. How's my tanks actually doing in urban areas? They're actually doing very well. It's just kind of strange because that's short range. So I want my special forces deployed in the mountain areas up here together with my motorized. So they're going to be doing the majority of the tagging. And let's just get towed artillery. And how's my default? Still no one's going to declare on me, that's good. I need, I want, actually, oh yeah. I just need to remember 25. Am I actually able to hit that? I am, like this. Yeah, that's the only way. So let's get these guys deployed in the mountains and let's get ready to attack. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah. All right. Oh, who's Jordan aligned to? What's uh, ideology? Ah, oh, it's Western, so they'll probably actually receive some support. That's a little annoying. Alright, and I actually finally got rid of everything but America's influence. Oh, they actually still got the national ideas. Biggest problem playing in non actual state though is the research speed. That's really gonna uh, totally gimp you. You won't be able to do much when you're fighting a, a normal nation while well, you got minus 50% research speed. You're always gonna be so far behind on tech. And I, rem I need to remember to make the Jericho. And Jericho. And what should it take? Got a couple of different options that I want to do. Alright, I'll actually go for uh, for increasing my popularity. Oh, they actually suspend elections. I don't remember if I actually did that. I did not. I have done now though. Let's change the flag. Oh, that's actually a cool looking flag. Do I have full, yeah, I do have a full of because of co-op. So I could go for the increased, uh, the increased attack. Yeah. Siren killers, we're going for submarines because we're not gonna get a major navy anyway. If we're getting a navy at all, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be cruisers and uh, sub. Oh, what's it called? Sub submarines, yeah. Right. Mm. And 
not gonna be long until I actually get some fuel for my own country. That's a little something I've been sorely lacking for such a long while. But as my economy, the way my economy is going right now, I might need to default again. Uh, if something drastical doesn't happen, at least. I actually think after getting uh, my increased uh, nationalist uh, support, I think I'll go in for the suppressed su subject. Even though there's a lot of stuff here I still want to do, I really need to get those subjects uh, under my uh, command. That way I can... Uh, uh, I get the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, I get the manpower and I get the industry and all that. Uh, and I really need that. Especially to turn my own economy around. And they're still not going to do anything, so that's great. Mm -mm. How long? On, what? Did Turkey just declare war on Tajikistan? Yeah, they did. So that's a that's another death war. Oh, yeah. So they did that while Tajikistan was guaranteed by Russia. So Turkey is probably gonna get annexed in a moment, and that's gonna be a problem because that's gonna skyrocket the 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 world tension. Just looking at how long do I have? Because special forces will take a long time to actually uh, to actually train. Sometimes I like to just deploy them and just train them on my own. But I think I'll just wait uh, wait until they actually get as far as they can uh, before trying to uh, to train. Uh, now get, getting them as far as I can, uh, so just as I'm about to go to war, I'll deploy them and then uh, move them into, the, into position before going to war. And I'm to Jericho, I mean I can get to this. I also got the satellites, but do have my... Right, I need to increase the rest of my, uh, my what's it called, military capabilities before I'm actually going for, uh, for satellites. And they're really spiraling out of control right now. I don't want to fight Egypt right now though. Luckily, my industry has increased a bit, but otherwise, uh, at the moment, I I failed to pay off my default debt. But I will, 
I almost was able to uh, to default again. The second one in uh, my arm command, I never know what to choose because I always figure that I want some of these down here, but I always end up taking one of these. It's just the army experience, that's that's nice, and command gain. When I go for defensive uh, fight, I'm always going for evaluated engineer corps, so. The thing that could fuck up my playthrough the most is if America suddenly decided that they wanted to go to war over a uh, default debt. I've tried that happening one time with Russia where I had no one wanted to do anything and then just like 10 days before it was done, uh, Russia said, alright, they'll go to war if I default. That's kind of a problem. <laughs> Alright, I should just least try to build the missile I want to get my settler finally... Oh, damn, I hit it a few times extra. Uh, I want to shift uh, 3, and let's get started. Half a year, I got one. Then we'll see if I can actually launch, uh, uh, launch a satellite. Still looking like I'll be able to make it. Uh, let's just give the shepherd for myself. Yes. And we got to default without uh, having anyone uh, declare war on us. So civilian complexes, come on. Right. right. I'm gonna deploy them. to actually attack from the other side. Well, pause. Why can I not pause? And then we'll remove this, as we don't want these guys to attack. For some reason I can't use my spacebar. Okay, that's strange.
All right, now I can. Now I can do it again. All right, that's strange. All right, and let's just get some fuel. I still got one of those in the air. Alright, let's get ready for war. Alright, I know that's a nice way to attack, but maybe you should actually try and stay in position, otherwise, you'll get. Right now they all run into this position and then they'll be encircled. So I need to actually stop them before that happens. And you should not be attacking here. But you're doing that anyway. Are oh, you retarded? I'm running out of fuel because you're doing this. Alright, I can actually do it like that. I forgot about that. So I'll just stop my offensive because I don't want these guys to actually move. Uh, yeah, that's what I was fearing. And seeing as my superiority fighters is not like that. Alright, and uh, let's get one dude over here. I'm really just encircling, as they don't seem to care. And now they're encircled. We'll just get some of the tanks over here as well. Just to make sure they keep being encircled. They got destroyed. And let's sit you back. Oh, and this guy actually increased in rank. And let's go find Panzer Expert. And let's see if I can actually push through. I can. And we got them. So let's pop it them. And we don't need the oil now. I see I got a non Actually, Syria should be the next target, seeing as they got another ideology than uh, the, the majors. But I'm not going to war with them just now. I 
I'm still getting a good amount of research done into my fuel production. And uh, now we just need to increase stability by increasing my mana costs. Yeah, this is none of our business. And I just want to see. Oh, they haven't moved at all. I right, seeing they haven't moved at all. I'll probably start out by annexing Jordan. No, I'm not. I'm starting out by annexing uh, Hezbollah because they are. Uh, that way, I'll get cause on Lebanon, and I got another war in that. So that's that's my next war. And how goes my satellite production? Oh, missile production. All right, sixty days. Then I can. Go, then I got the, the missile to actually match my uh, my match satellite I built uh, five years ago. Let's get the construction up because we're real, really behind on construction. I haven't even gotten my fuel yet, and that that results in every war I go into. I need to get fuel from other world, and that's a problem. Especially once you've uh, declared one enough people, because then uh, then people don't want to sell you fuel anymore. All right. I couldn't understand why world tension was that high, but that's because, uh, as I said, Turkey was going to lose against Russia. So now Turkey is a puppet of Russia. This this might be a cursed playthrough. I think that uh, a World War Three is bound to happen uh, way too soon. I might as well just push for uh, for fast construction. I'm 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 hoping to default again anyway. Uh, so uh, I might as well just take on the uh, the increased uh, depth to actually reach the point where I can can default. I love how I'm still a major non-NATO ally, even though I've gone to war with three different nations. Well, two nations and then Hezbollah. And... Yeah, fuel, 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 fuel. I need fuel. And I got the share right ready. So now it's time to see if I can launch it. Do I still have the OFIC? No, I don't. So that must mean must must mean I've launched it. Uh, 
I can't see it change though. Hmm. Alright, so I had no idea what happened, but I didn't get anything, any extra, uh, what's it called, uh, modifiers, so that must mean that it hasn't succeeded, but I have no idea. All right, so I don't know how to do actually do the satellites. I I tried doing what I thought would be it, but that didn't work. So I think my next try is gonna be to try and launch a nuke. Suslik, Sus Suslik, hello. I don't really speak Russian, so I have no idea what you just said. Well, I'm guessing it's Russian. At least the Slavic al alphabet. Uh. Yeah. 
Let's just force our way into Egypt. Oh wait, that state actually got released. Right, but if I take Syria and and annex them, I'll get the cause as well. So I sh will get a call on this. Iraq is also going to be a fun country, that's going to be after taking... Oh, I can actually attack them after Jordan. I might actually want to do that, because Iraq got some oil. And I could really use that. So I need to decide if I actually want... Ah, uh, uh, no, I'll, I'll attack Lebanon first. Because that's at least a minor. Iraq got a pretty large army, as far as I remember. Uh, Sus like I, I, I still don't really speak Russian or, or whatever Slavic language that is, so I, I can't really respond to that. And Gali is soon done, so I'll be able to start up my biofuel refineries. And my research into oil have actually, actually gotten, uh, I've halted my, uh, my, uh, what's it called, deficit of fuel a bit. Not a lot, but a bit. Oh, and I'm finally free of American influence in Israel, so I can remove this for now. Now, I'd, I really like to join the uh, CO at least because that'll uh, that'll boost my political power by a lot. And I'm still gaining nationalists. That's great because that will increase my stability. Seeing as that I only had like twenty uh, twenty blue uh, twenty uh, percent support once I got into power. But now. I need for my further conquest to actually suppress my subjects. Oh, but none of the ones I conquered so far actually got any uh, got any resources. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so like that that really doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And yep, let's get that. Uh, don't worry, no, no, why Miranda wants a non-aggression pact with me, but I don't really care about that. Uh, Alright, I can actually remove some of this because I don't have APCs anymore, so no need to have this and Fuck! I just remember that I could send this to my... Uh, to my subject instead of deleting it. Alright. Now uh, let's just send everything we got that I don't need. Yeah, sure, what are you saying, uh, Suslik? I just figured you were right in English once uh, once you wanted to talk to me.
Alright. Let's send this off to the subject. Ah. Yeah, alright. Well, I don't mind, but uh, I, I can't really respond when you're writing in, uh, in Russian, but... Uh, And I still need to push f to get this done, so I can begin constructing some biofuel refineries. Oh, that's really my uh, my main concern right now, due to the fact that my fuel is s at such a horrible condition. I can't even train my troops. All right, but my special forces don't require fuel, so I'll train those. And I've reached a point where I'm I'm good on tech for now. I don't. Uh, it was super blue. That's that's the only Russian word I know. Other than that, I can't I can't speak any Russian. I wouldn't even know how to pronounce what you just wrote. Like I was I was thinking about it, but like the. The symbols don't even uh, resemble uh, ours, so I don't know how to pronounce it. Like, the second thing you wrote, I was like, Hu, Naho, or something like that. That that was... Oh. The United States just gave us money. Oh, but I have to get political power by rejecting and national support, so I'll do that. I don't need money that much. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, this is where I'll send off a missile. Alright, and that's where I use my nuclear warheads I'm still having trouble understanding why this didn't succeed though the C satellite what is that that's the communication I have no navigation satellites up so I'll actually try try to build one. So let's just let's get the chef uh, four, build one, and let's see if I can actually send up a navigation satellite because I failed setting up my reconnaissance satellite. <sighs> oh, all right, and I got some military uh, army experience so I'm going for professional army corps just to get the increased army experience thanks uh, Soslik and you'll have a good day And I finally reached the point where I'm actually developing, uh, developing uh, oil refineries. Hoo, hoo, hoo. 
I was just thinking about who I was going to war with, but I don't have anyone. I still need to reduce the autonomy bef first. Oh. Might as well put this to military law. And subjects. Alright. Palestine is ready to actually be decreased in autonomy soon. So is Israel, occupied Lebanon. And hopefully that'll gain me a little more factories. That could be nice. Currently, I'm only getting three factories from three different occupied uh, nations, so that's that's kind of low. I have interest rate is still skyrocketing, so that's exciting as well. And we could reduce that. Oh. Actually building, getting Palestine will give me nothing because they have no, well it'll give me some population but they have, and a little bit of resource, but they have no uh, factories. At least it'll reduce my GDP, so my army won't cost as much. And let's reduce factory again. I was just thinking that maybe there should be a pause button as well on this. this to zero civilian factories. If it could that would be an automatic pause button. And I'm getting fuel. production here again. I, I can reduce them as well. Do they actually have any factories? Yeah, they have one, one dockyard and one civilian. I'll just modify this, remove this. <coughs> I've seen that now I actually want Hezbollah in charge. Uh, I want to uh, not Hezbollah in charge. I want to annex this Hezbollah first. Oh wait. I didn't know Palestine also owned that. Oh well, I learned something new then. And let's get some more civilian factories. And they actually 
the ones that are just not pumping out influence on their own, they're actually reducing mine instead. That's lovely. Because that, that means I won't have to like have 3,000 or 10,000 influence. I remember seeing once where I kept competing someone in their influences and it ended up being like a number like 15,000 that I had to get, get above to actually uh, do anything with them. But I remember that they changed the system because it was too easy to puppet. Like I remember in the beginning I was able to like play an entire playthrough as a miner and just puppet nations without ever going to war. And that's also too easy. Mm -mm. Nah, I'll actually go for this one. The block I can't do yet. And then let's actually go for my warheads and my nuclear reactor. Ah, uh, let's ask for bailout. We get increased crop attacks. Yep, I want that. And that's another bug. I've seen this before, uh, but it probably just haven't been fixed in this branch. Where I can get to 55 population checks, even though the max is normally uh, 50. But because I use that uh, IMF uh, decision. And let's just stop. We got them uh, away from being rookies at least. Now it's just time to see if I can actually get get fuel enough so I, uh, I'm not lacking fuel every day. That's actually positive at least in peacetime because that's that's a big problem. It's not if it's not in a, in a positive in peacetime, so I don't build up my stockpile. To, uh, for my air force otherwise I have to do the stuff I've been doing this last couple of times where I I, I lent uh, RL just for being at war and that just reduces my building capacity to zero oh right actually I seem to remember uh, no that's not was that playing as Jordan I remember playing as some nation where I was actually able to uh, to annex and get calls through decisions. So that might be Jordan to unite the Muslim peninsula. I a lot of times I actually thought about doing a uh, Egypt playthrough but I actually don't think I ever managed to do one that could be fun to do as well Le L Libya could also be fun seeing that uh, the best in the 2000s start there the best nation that does the best in the entire of, uh, African continent uh, What's it called? Uh, GDP-wise. Oh, shock. Hello, bullet. Damn, you gave me a shock. Like every time I get a new follower, that's the the noise is so uh, so high. Uh, right. Mm -mm. Yeah. I'll actually go for extra resource efficiency, uh, just so I can actually get the uh, get the, the fuel, also all the other stuff that I got. But I don't really have that many uh, resources in my country, and I've been holding out on actually doing the one that gives me a little more resources because I wanted some more. But I can see that that's none of my neighbors have actually got it, because this focus gives resources depending on what you already have. So it gives two of each that you already have. Uh, that uh, that's why I sometimes wait with taking this decision until I actually capture some nations that uh, 
some areas that actually have uh, other other resources but at like the what's it called technology metal nearest run i see is uh is turkey or iran and i won't be taking them for a long time if i even if i was gonna do that and same with the uh, precious metal metal i don't see that anywhere near me so once i actually pop it uh, i'll just go for for the one that gives me extra resources no reason not to all right and did i actually build it yep i actually got it built the shower rocket so now i just need the gns And let's build that. Oh, damn it. I forgot to change this. Uh, let's go for this. Let's go for man patch, yeah. The man patch I could at least uh, use some of. Might as well just take the ATDMs AT just to get a uh, surplus. And then I'm gonna try to see if I can get the global satellite and uh, navigation satellite up. Seeing I got none of those, it seems. Yeah. All right, I'll just get to show it for. So let's just get that ready. And the reliability actually increased as well. So hopefully I'll see a change in my satellites when I launch the next one. Otherwise I don't really know how to do that. Then it might either be me that haven't, hasn't figured it out or it might be a bug. <laughs> it's really just a waiting game right now. I, I might as well delete those because they are apparently Russian. So I won't be able to send them anyway. At least I won't get anything from for sending them. The transport helicopters. Or that could be. I didn't look that up last time. Um... Doesn't seem like it. That seems like those are not from my nation either. What can I actually send? I can send some trains. I How much does that actually give? Oh, that doesn't give enough to justify it. Other than that, I don't really. Yeah, well, I got those. But how much will that actually give? Not enough to justify it. Nope. I won't send any more aid then. But I'm going to take a big hit trying to, uh, well, when I annex these guys, that's really going to ruin my economy. So that's going to be exciting. And we actually produced the GNS. And that was called Sophia. Wasn't it? Yeah, there it is. Oh, clear payload. And there's a fear.
at this launch. So I launched, and again, I don't see any change. Uh, right. Let's just keep on pushing for more oil. So I'm starting to think I'll uh, I should uh, reduce the other guys influence in the Egypt instead of pushing for more myself. Mm. And I'm developing what I want here. Yeah. So I think it's just I'm just going to develop my industry for now. That's what the rest of my uh, research slots are going to until at least 2015. Hopefully I won't be waiting that long until I get uh, Hezbollah uh, till the end next. Palestine is still in the lead though. I don't want to really to what's it called develop any more nukes because that's f too far ahead in time. But I'll still develop more uh, nuclear reactors. Interest rate is still not increasing while my. Uh, I am increasing in uh, in my loans total capacity at least. At least I'm actually getting two two factories from exporting. Don't really know what they want. What am I actually exporting that people? Doesn't really say I'm exporting anything. Strange. Oh, what is this? Ah, that looks strange. Take battlefield support. Oh, it's still a long time to just be doing nothing. But the good thing about it is that the world tension can actually decrease some. And seeing as I'll be taking over. Core territories in Lebanon, 
that want actually has kinetic bombardment. All right, so I actually need that. So I wonder what that actually is. And I hardly know where to look. I need to report that as well because I have no idea the kinetic bombardment where that is at. I select the satellite for kinetic bombardment. Ah! So is that the satellite? Oh, but I need another. I need a proper satellite for that. I don't have that. And do I actually have anywhere to fire missiles from? No, I don't. Do I have any ABM bases? I don't. And any ballistic missile silo? I don't either. I just I just thought about something. I think that the reason I might not be able to launch satellites might be because I don't have uh, the building to do it. But if that's true, then that needs to be a warning on the missiles. Otherwise, that will uh, people will just waste that. Uh. Because right now I've just been I launched two satellites with no effect so far. Uh, and yep, I still don't have it. I still only total number of satellites, nineteen. I do wonder why the Amos though that's the communication satellite. Why is it not higher than the last? Mm, that's strange as well. Mm-mm. Right, more. 
more uh, resource efficiency. Hopefully it'll uh, boost my oil to a surplus at some point. Still just a waiting game I'm doing. As soon as I actually get uh, his ball under my uh, under my direct control, I'll take out Lebanon and yeah, what's what's in the cards for me next? That's either Syria or Iraq. But Syria had has the last of larger front, so that that will actually be easier to take. And if I take down Syria first, it'll be easier to actually take down Iraq. As that provides a larger front as well. Hmm. So I need to just figure out what I want to do there. Do I actually have the required? No, but I should get some more armored divisions. I don't really have any motorized. That's also kind of horrible. But I don't have the manpower yet. I'll wait for that until I actually annex uh, some of the states. That way I'll get the manpower I need without uh, increasing my military uh, my military spending, which I shouldn't do right now because or at the moment I'm still having quite a lo large deficit. Mm -hmm. And is that another nuclear reactor? I believe it is. It was. Just need to get something to drink. I'll be right back.
on a book. And let's just let the time roll again. Uh, and I'm just looking. Yeah. I'm just ordering some food for later. And let's just do... I still don't want a big crash. I might as well just take the minor crash for now. And that doesn't do a lot. And we'll begin increasing construction. Uh -oh, and we got quite some political power, so we'll push on on Egypt again. I'll actually destroy some of these, uh, the other influence in Egypt instead. Just making sure. Alright, let's relax back. Making sure I'm the only, only real power here. Oh, holy hell, they have a lot of guys influencing them. Production here is still going slow. Let's see if I can actually send something to. So, I might actually need to protect against uh, Syria. Uh. And I'm getting a few casts every year, even though that's, this is nothing. I really like to know how I can actually, uh, how I can actually change this. 
because this can give some insane effects if I actually get it up to the max. Also just increasing it a bit would also be insanely nice. I at least know like a lot, of, as I said before, a lot of people is really looking forward to nuking pe uh, other people. I'm really looking forward to satellites because those effects are just so nice. Like getting research speed and getting construction speed and getting uh, research gain efficiency and such. That's that's gonna be awesome. I still haven't figured out what I actually what could be used to uh, fire off my uh, my satellites. No, still uh, still not getting anything. Oh, I actually turned my fuel around. It's actually going positive now. Oh, this is lovely. And <laughs> nah, I'll take policing down. So I'm reaching the point where I actually have to research stuff that's uh, ahead in time. Oh, I still got my transport. But I haven't built any more of my paratroopers. So that's that's going to be fun to see if i actually ever going to use that. I'm always fearful that I'll just get them destroyed at the moment I, I, uh, I deploy them. But that's also because I always play uh, nations that got such low populations. So if I, if I lose like half my army uh, power driving, then I'm gonna be fucked. Oh, okay. So Afghanistan is getting steamrolled. And how's my interest rate doing? Still, uh, still going up. Hopefully, it's only a matter of time before I uh, I can default, and then then at the time that I actually uh, annex my uh, my puppets, I should have a ha have a good economy going. And another fuel. This this is great. Oh, I just remembered. The dirt plane, that's also... Yeah. Oh, I can actually build some... Oh, is that because it's the capital? Palestine actually got... Got a quite large population after, after seeing they also had Gaza. That's, uh, they should have an army. I don't know why they never have, though. But seeing they're a non-active state, I would never want to play as them. At least, at least not until there's a possibility of increasing that, uh, that somehow. Alright, not long until I can actually annex, uh, uh, his ball. Palestine will be first. I don't know if I actually want to do that first, though. Could turn my economy around though. I have to weigh that up. If I can default before that, that would be awesome because then I'll uh, I'll have uh, less steps to actually deal with.
Oh, I'm still lagging IFVs. I never, uh, never actually got around to who started building those. I completely forgot about them. The fun thing is I've been fucking awesome on my well I I kind of thought about that a, a couple of uh, an hour ago or so but if I actually manage to capture Iraq biofuel refinery is going to be useless for me because I've got this much oil uh, lying just around but then again I need to win the war with Iraq before that's even a possibility so it might be fine that I actually getting my biofuel biofuel refineries I can't remember if it's actually a 10 or 15 percent that I can default, but I'll actually think I'll do this just to increase the cost and then uh, get myself to the point where I actually am able to default quicker. Because the ideal thing would be if I could default before I actually annex, as I think that would, would turn my economy around a bit. Uh, and I might not be able to default after having annexed. <laughs> what did the finish reach? Oh, was that excavation? I think so, yeah. My fuel just rised a bit. So, what to do, what to do, what to do? All right. Oh, I also got the intelligence. I still need to do. I have to be honest, I don't understand this. This really, really what annoys me the most. Because I, I don't know if it's me actually making a, a flaw or if it's uh, it's actually uh, because it's it's not working as intended. And Afghanistan got their ass kicked. Big surprise. It's actually any big ones, yes, Pakistan. Uh. So, can I actually start training? Or will that ruin my fuel? Or I can actually train one. At least I can train my uh, my attack helicopters for now. That's also a pretty good indicator if uh, if I can support it when I go to war. And at the moment, I can only support my attack helicopters uh, being in the air. And that just gave me some extra. Yeah, but not enough. 
All right, let's let's just keep training uh, training them until uh, until I run out of fuel. Then I'll just put them down on the ground and then just only uh, train my attack helicopters uh, until they're at least uh, skill three. My attack helicopters I might as well use as quickly as possible because I'm gonna replace them with the uh, actual cat uh, close out support instead of like. The the tech helicopters are the wor worst version of uh, of close air support uh, as they're not nearly as good as uh, the planes, but the planes cost a lot more. And I've always always been playing House of Iron. I'm I'm a quality or quantity kind of guy, so I'd rather have a few good uh, planes than a, a lot of bad ones. Even though it's not the better way to play. Uh, Alright, no reason to actually uh, get the labor units angry at me, so I just uh, chose the other one. Oh! Actually destroyed most most of the other influence in the country. So I'll just destroy the last. That way I'm only fighting uh, Egypt now. And that should be a kind of easy fight. I believe I get a lot more... Uh, political power than they do due to the fact that I, I'm a nuclear nation. And d d d mm -hmm. uh, how's the training going? All right, helicopters. Uh, my attack helicopters are go doing all right. They're already at the first level soon. Oh, alright. Syria actually lost the uh, war goal on uh, on my part of Lebanon. Oh, well, the Hezbollah part of uh, Lebanon. So no need to defend against Syria yet. Let's just hope no one guarantees Lebanon. Why is the... What's in, oh yeah, we just had... Uh, we just as Pakistan fight Afghanistan. That's why. I couldn't understand why the world tension was still so high. In the ideal world, I'll be able to take Lebanon, fight Syria. Already when I fight in Syria, I believe it's going to be hard to actually get anything. I actually think I'll take uh, I'll take down Lebanon, and then uh, go through Jordan and take Iraq. And then hopefully I'll be able to uh, puppet, uh, what's it called, influence puppet uh, Egypt. That's at least the hope. And we'll stop training you guys now. And we're still pushing for... For a lot of depth, so I can default. <sighs> mm, might as well go for this as well. I had forgotten. Oh, I completely forgotten that I hadn't taken up any of my my welfare policies. As long as I'm actually uh, going for defaulting, I might as well push that up. And I actually can push my corporate checks down a bit. And 
how was the public going? Alright, halfway uh, to being able to annex them. And as far as I recall, there's not really any major, major uh, usual war. Yeah, uh, that you. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, called Millennium Dawn. This uh, this mod, and it's quite like uh, what I'm playing is the developer's version, which uh, where I'm playtesting uh, this mi new missile system. But uh, there's a lot of new features, and it's really like it's one. I'm part of the team, so I have to say it. But I really believe it's one of the best uh, out of iron mods out there. I've had so many hours playing this, but. Uh, yeah, Millennium Dawn on Steam. You should be able to find it there. And we also got a Discord you could join. That way you can also ask questions in, in case there's something you're wondering about uh, in uh, when you play. Uh, still doing good with my oil. Uh, uh, uh. Might as well push for increased oil. No problem, that you. That that. That that too. That too. Yeah, that's that's the way. Also, if you got questions, you oh Yoshi, yeah. Well, uh, if you got questions, you you can also just ask them uh, when playing. Uh, if I'm on, I'll uh, I'll answer any questions you have uh, to the mod. And yeah, no problem. Just drop by anytime you feel like it. Uh, I really wanted to push for something so I can actually and it's these guys before Palestine. But it seems like it might just be Palestine first then. But I can default in a matter of moments, so that's great. Oh, Iran and Italy also just pushed for influence in Egypt as well. And how's my foreign influence doing? Alright, I actually got guys in my country currently, so I need to tell them to fog off. Uh, let's train this. It's still quite insane how how little fuel I actually have. I can't even train two air wings at the same time. So my war's gotta be quick because I only got to fuel for like uh, uh, one month of fighting, one and a half. And what are we actually going to be fighting in? Mountains, so I got a lot of uh, special operation units, that's great. I got my tanks for the urban areas, so that's actually... Lebanon should really be a piece of cake. Uh, Yoshi, are you still here? Because I just remember like a core feature that you should know about that a lot of people don't know even though they play it for multiple hours. 
right? When you conquer other nations, you should always puppet them. Because the way you can get cores on other nations in this game is you puppet them, and then you use the features in uh, the subject here to uh, decrease their autonomy, and then when you annex them, you get cores on all of their territories. Otherwise, you'll uh, just have to fight resistance in that country. So you can actually grow quite large. Like, I've, I've had uh, multiple games where I started out as a miner, but uh, having cores on multiple, like, large area of land, and that increases your population, because otherwise you'll you'll be fucked if you're, f you're being a nation like Israel, because I got no population to fight with, but uh, as soon as I actually core some other territories, I can keep on fighting. And compared to, like, the standard, the vanilla version, this actually, this game is more about, like, long-time conquest. Like, my usual playthroughs uh, is uh, 20 or 30 years of playing, where in vanilla I, I played max, like, 5 years before I get bored or can't do anything else. Ah. There's also, you know, to know about, uh, there's another one just uh, that uh, covers the span of the entire Cold War. Uh, that's called Cold War Iron Curtain or something like that. If that's also a period you're interested in. I'm, I'm not with the team on that. I'll, I just know the, the mud. Yeah, right. And if you like the if you like the Fallout universe, there's also one called Old, Wo Old World Blues. That's about turning the entire entire uh, what's it called? The entire world into uh, the Fallout universe. Oh, what? Ah, oh, damn it. A civil war just happened in Jordan. Oh, the fun thing is they're not actually a non actors Oh, Jordan is not either. Uh, but I just need to see... Oh... I can't really do anything to help them though. That's that's kind of annoying. But I can send some equipment. And how is that? All right, shouldn't be too long. I'm just fearing, like, uh, due to bad economies, these guys are having a civil war with themselves. I'm fearing to lose a lot of my subject to the civil war. That would be quite horrible. Then I had to start all over. But it doesn't seem like either of these guys actually have any troops. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of possibilities. Uh, but the civil war is happening in my playthrough. That's not in the Steam version yet, because that's due to the new e economic uh, system. There is an economic system in uh, in the Steam version, but we developed uh, upon that and made like this entire uh, preview and a lot of other features with it. Uh, that's coming to the Steam version uh, soon, but uh, but isn't there yet? 
But yeah, that causes like uh, you can see when they get into too high of depth, they'll get uh, different modifiers like minus minus stability, minus construction speed, and then uh, minus in uh, support for their country. And then uh, once that happens, still, oh damn, I just had a crash. It's still so random when this happens. I haven't figured out what's what's the cause of that. Anyway, uh, when that happens, uh, when they get into depth. There's the possibility of either a civil war happening, or they'll just let the other party take control uh, peacefully. And that that way, you can see uh, if uh, if a country is very in depth, they might they might be having changing government all the time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, and we're back. So, and I can default. Right, and time to reduce my spendings a bit again. To actually try to uh, count on my huge. Oh, I'm actually using close to no money on my welfare spendings. It is entirely on my military. All right, so that should be counted once I've uh, annexed the, uh, annexed uh, some of my uh, so, uh, uh, puppets because they got. Huge populations, but close to no no actual uh, uh, what's it called industry. So that should re reduce my GDP, which is one of the main main things that causes uh, high military costs. Yeah, I got three hundred eighty uh, percent uh, industrial cost due to the GDP, and two hundred and fourteen for my personal uh, personnel. And I just need to make sure. Yeah, there is. Also, so, some some new players get frightened by it, but that's also why I recommend that you join the Discord that we're a part of. Uh, well, the the mod owns because that way you can ask questions when you are uh, in doubt about new stuff. Because most of the stuff you need to learn. Yeah, exactly. But but that's the thing because. It might be frightening, but there's so many things that you simply don't want to not have once you get to learn them. Like I can't play basic Hatsafine anymore. I I tried one back when uh, No Step Back just arrived. I tried to play uh, classic Hatsafine, but I it really I found it so boring. So uh, I I couldn't really get back to playing that.
Yeah, I, re I recommend doing that. And like, this, as I said, I am part of the team, so I am biased. But this is really the best uh, Hatch of Iron mod. Oh. Oh, thanks. And thanks for the follow. See you around, Yoshi. Alright. Still no one's gonna attack me once it defaults, so that's great. And... Oh, for fuck's sake, sorry. Oh. Right, now let's reduce my research speed. And I'll be. Alright. Soon. Been a long raid. I haven't done anything for like four years because I'm waiting for. for me to actually get the. Hezbollah uh, annex so I can get the cores on Lebanon. The default still looking good. Oh, I can't remember how much does it actually cost. I believe it's 300 or 400, so I can actually spend some on uh, Egypt. Let's just take combat foreign influence just to increase my uh, independence uh, factor. And Palestine is part of me now. So that increased my population by almost 3 million. So that should also have changed my GDP. Yep. I reduced my, uh, my military cost by... Uh, by uh, uh, 0 0.4 billion. Oh! But, oh yeah. Uh, I had not thought about that. They had so much debt, and so does Hezbollah. So I need to default again after. After taking over Hezbollah as well. Maybe I should just wait until I take over them all, because... That that's a lot. Yeah. But uh, what about phone influences? Right. I 
completely forgot about the thing on the uh, the the depth as well. I can increase my doctrine as well. So the only thing uh, keep me from uh, annexing right now is this. Luckily that's not too long and it fits alright with me actually getting uh, first Lebanon and then uh, Jordan. As long as nothing's happening in Jordan I should be fine as well. I don't know why they don't have an army at all though. That It might be because of the huge depth, but I don't really know why. Mm, and let's get some more fuel. Oh, right, I'm at max fuel. Well, let's go all out just to see if I can. I can't. So let's just do like this. Alright. I, I can actually support that for 100 days. So uh, I'll just keep that running. And Polynesia declared one Polynesia again. Another depth, uh, depth war. Mm -mm. How much? Alright, I'm actually paying most of what I'm in deficit is actually paying back debt 
So that will get fixed if I default again. <laughs> That's just three times defaulting in a row. So uh, someone should start getting mad at me soon. Lovely day, I don't know how to. Should be gone in eight days. I'll actually just take out Jordan first, seeing as I got both now, just to make sure that they don't uh, they just just suddenly lose to the Civil War. Oof. And that's that's some kind of depth as well. Holy hell. Hopefully this won't break my nation. Hey Japan be like. What up? I really need need to default again because after annexing, I really <laughs> I really took some depth then. <coughs> oh. Luckily, I at least uh, I removed the possibility of uh, of election. So uh. yeah, thanks. That's like that's the reason for the name, and that's only like 18 year old. At 18 year old that uh, that game attack, so I was like 10 when I got it. Mm. Oh sh! I really need to turn that down. I get a shock every time I get a new follower. And thanks for following. Uh. Oh damn! America just declared one Iraq. Oh, that's annoying because I wanted to declare one Iraq. And when am I able to take them? September. All right. And I actually uh, tripled my population so far. That's that's nice. Now I just need to fix my economy. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be trouble, though. And I can stop training these guys because they're already at max. And I'll stop training these guys as well. Alright. I'll only train my as priority fighters for now just to uh, get my. Uh, for my Twitch account? Oh, uh, what my goals are. Well, I don't really have any plans. Like, uh. My first idea by starting it all up uh, like a month ago was just just to try and see like I've I've been thinking about streaming since since I started a long time ago 
and then uh, uh, since I started gaming a long time ago, and since Twitch became a thing, but I never could get myself to start. Then I had a friend that actually uh, that that started and asked me if I uh, if 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 I should try it, and I was like, all right, I'll try it. And I just figured out like I'm playing a lot of single player games, so it's actually fun because just playing while streaming uh, in the single player games, you actually get company a lot of the time, and that that way, well you. You got someone to talk to while playing. And I really enjoy that. Also, like a, a secondary goal is actually like uh, keeping up my English skills because uh, I noticed like after uh, after I stopped speaking English in my everyday life, uh, my English skills really got uh, got worse. And just by keeping it up while talking to you guys, that that actually helps uh, to keep me up to date on the English skill, English English English. What's the skill? Language. Yeah. Just being it actually uh, makes you able to... Uh... I lost my train of thought because I was looking at this. Yeah, yeah, I saw that as well. Uh... At least Kurdistan didn't attack them this time. But I'm a little annoyed because I was actually gonna invade Iraq due to the oil. Uh... As I've been lacking oil quite a lot. But uh, I have to make do with biofuel refineries, it seems. Uh, what? All right, Kurdistan declared war on Iraq after they was they were puppeted, which means Kurdistan is now gonna get fucked by Iraq because America is there as well. That that's that was a dumb idea. Also, like the world tension just skyrocketed because America did that. But yeah, also I figured, like, uh, because I'm part of the Millennium Dawn uh, development team, I figured that uh, it also could be uh, could be nice to actually uh, advertise uh, Millennium Dawn, seeing as I'm playing uh, the development version. Uh, Alright, Kurdistan just got fucked by America as well. <laughs> right, uh, just so I could actually show people what, uh, what was happening in the mod, aside from just having our de developer diaries that we have right now. But yeah, I'm pretty much playing everything that I usually play just while I'm talking in English and uh, and streaming. Meanwhile, I'm even sitting my underpants as I usually do when I uh, when I play. Yeah, uh, I know the feeling, uh, but I, I'm part of Discord, uh, Japan, because there's a lot, like, you can also just ask questions in here, because there's a lot of things that that you need to learn in the basics of uh, both Millennium Dawn and Heart of Iron just by having the templates, like, just using the AI templates, that that's gonna get you to lose a lot. Well you, well, you need to learn how to design your design your own templates and such. That that's really important for for war in uh, uh, in Millennium Dawn. And that's just a lovely uh, depth I got going right now. That's insane. Uh, like, the thing is that you should be playing on the Steam version, and that's still got the old combat modifier, and the old combat, uh, combat modifier, combat width, the old combat width was 30 or 60, and then I usually went with, uh, something like, I'll just design it just so you can see it, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, 
Right, this used to be my, uh, in the uh, in the old version where you got 60 combat width, this used to be my old uh, infantry uh, division. Usually I always use special forces if I can afford it, like if I do ha have the special, for special forces modifier, so I actually have enough uh, units so I can just go for special forces with my infantry. Otherwise I'll just replace the, uh, the special forces with normal infantry in this build. But this is how I would make my uh, infantry uh, template, because that's 60 combat width, and that's gonna be the what's it called, uh, meta uh, for for Millennium Dawn. Where in the standard it was 20 and 40, in the Millennium Dawn it was uh, 30 and 60, but now after no step back deals, the no step back DLC, we got some completely different ones. Like fighting in uh, mountains, you only need 25. And uh, fighting in planes, you need uh, 40 uh, or 45, about that. Uh, so you need to really design your templates in what climate you're going to fight in. Uh, as every sim single place got different combat width. So it, they made it really a lot more, a lot harder to actually design templates now in, uh, in, uh, in No Step Back. So once we updated uh, this the Steam version as well, you need to completely rethink how you do it again. So that that's that's gonna be uh, gonna be challenging. And I can actually default my depth again, and I need to do that to actually unfuck my nation. All right. So it's still my military that I'm paying off the most. Yeah, that won't really reduce it that much. So what I'm gonna do is increase my corporate tax. And this is gonna be horrible for my growth. But it'll be good for my... Uh, st stopping my uh, uh, deficit of, uh, of income. Hopefully, once I take Lebanon, I'll get some more uh, civil, uh, civilian construction. Uh, what's it called? Civilian industry. Uh, so my construction actually goes faster. But what I really need is office. I'm playing Israel. Uh, but my first play as Israel was taking Palestine. Then I took out Hezbollah. And then I took over Jordan uh, to uh, as puppets. And now I just managed to uh, to annex them, so I got the cores on all of the territory. That's also why I have like uh, 30 million uh, population. And the only reason, like usually I always accept the investments, the only reason I'm not accepting it it's because on this version of the developed version, it hasn't been fixed. There's a bug right now. It's been fixed on another branch of the version uh, of the developer's version, but this one it hasn't been fixed on. So I won't get anything out of uh, actually accepting that investments because that got fucked up with the no step back. Hey, Pibuko. Pibuko. Yeah, that must be how. Still, I haven't figured out. I should try some ballistic missile silos, something like that. That's the only thing. Oh, yeah. I've lo there's also been like a year since we updated uh, the Steam version, so that's that's kind of the problem. But uh, we got we got fucked up by the No Step Back DLC release, so we've been 
been working hard trying to actually uh, to actually get that uh, out there. But yeah, once once we update the Steam version, it's it's gonna be so insane. There's so many features that we're working on right now. Uh, so a lot a lot of a lot of new stuff that you need to figure out how to use and that you can enjoy playing with. Like the stuff I'm testing right now is this entire missile system. That's not in the Steam version yet, and it's still uh, in development. But I've just been testing, trying to see what needs to be changed, what needs more tooltips and stuff like that. But it's really fun to play so far. Oh sh! Oh, I, like I, I think I'll get a heart attack at some point by my follower button. It's so loud. Uh, I actually to go with some some planes. Right, I got cast as well. <coughs> right, I should be able to take a living on in a moment. All right, I had generated close to no will tension. That's quite insane. I've taken out three three nations soon a fourth, and I haven't generated any more world tension. America has really fucked up the world by taking Iraq. What what fucked the world up the most is Russia taking Turkey, uh, America taking Iraq, and then Pakistan taking Afghanistan. That's really been the huge uh, huge problems we've been having. Right, so let's declare war. Let's march in there. Let's get our air force up. And let's just try and see if we cannot just totally steamroll them. I should actually have someone else judging. Oh, I can't. Yeah. It looks it looks like I'm actually steamrolling them. And yep, just give me all your extra units. Uh yeah. Oh, I only I can only support my air force being in the air for 18 days. That's because I got such a huge air force and such a fucked fuel economy right now. And I took them out. All right. So my plan was actually to f to take down Iraq as the next target. But seeing that they got puppeted by the America, that that would be a suicide. So I think it'll actually be fighting uh, Syria. Oh, oh yeah, they're only the only part of the uh, uh, Jerusalem Defense Pact. So maybe I should try to take them out before they actually invite someone else. I can also get some new new units. So I should do that as well. And um, da, 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 da. my economy is still fucked though. Still got too large of an army and too large of industry to actually support it. Hopefully though, when my economic cycle changes, it should fix it some. Because being in depression, that's that's not good for you.
What is my collection growth? Alright. And I got 60 million people now. So that's good. After taking Surya, I should skyrocket that, that number though. I just need to think because if I, if I attack them now, I'll probably blow up the world tension. Like, just, just, just fang walk all against them. Oh, that's actually not gonna do anything. Well, at least I'm gonna justify. Now let's see if I'm actually gonna attack. Doesn't look like they have that much of an army. Also, really need my fuel reserves to be higher. It's quite insane how low these are. Mm. Well, uh, that that's a uh, that's a good guess, but not not right. But uh, almost, I'm Danish. Uh, where are you from, Japan? Like if 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 you oh Poland. Well, if you ask that German person, they would probably call uh, call us Northern Germany. But uh, yeah, I'm from Denmark. I'm a l little in doubt if I can take them out. It looks like they got a quite weak army, to be honest. But I'm not entirely sure. At least I know my Air Force will be better. What happened to my Air Force? Oh, there. Yeah. Alright. I think what I'll have to do is like attack in stages. Because I don't think I'll be able to steamroll them in 20 days. And that's only the time I have uh, fuel for. Oh, what just happened? Why did the world tension rise? This is kind of a problem because if I go to war and the world tension rises, there's a chance that they'll call in or join a faction. Oh yeah, but they're in a faction already, so they can't actually join anyone. So I think I'll I should be able to take them out. I'm gonna try anyway. And just as soon as I got the organization. And get ready to launch the attack. And let's go. Oh yeah. That's green numbers. This is looking good. I got 20 days to take them out before I run out of fuel. Uh, 30, I mean. Yeah, exactly. But I also have a way superior army than them. I, w I just figured that they had the numbers. But yeah, so that's gonna kill the world tension. So now I won't be able to go to war with anyone uh, because if I do, they'll just join a faction and then uh, there's a good chance that World War Three will happen. 
as soon as someone goes to war now. Due to the wall tension. But yeah, as soon as I puppet them, my uh, my po population is gonna skyrocket. So that's nice. Because that will reduce my GDP, and that will uh, actually make my army cheaper to to employ. Also, I will I would never recommend anyone going as high corporate tax as I have right now. But that's only to avoid actually falling into debt uh, again. At least avoid it some. Because the problem is I'm supporting... Well, Russia can declare war. Oh, shuck. Uh, Russia can declare war, but the problem will be that... Uh, that they will... Uh... Oh, they're still at war with Yugoslavia. Uh, if they declare war on anyone that's actually against... Like, Nate's... Uh, the entire Western Front will will form. I don't have NATO on, as far as I remember, but no, I actually have. I have NATO on. So if they declare war on anyone within NATO, they're gonna fight uh, the entirety of Europe and America. So uh, that's kind of a problem. But yeah, my plan right now is to annex Syria. Hopefully be able to influence Egypt so I can uh, puppet them without going to war. And then uh, then I'll think, ab think about actually if fight Saudi Arabia. They have a high Salafist movement. Yeah. And if if they, if uh, Arabia goes Salafist, I should be able to attack them without anyone caring. Uh, so... That's going to be my next front line. No one wants to be in a... In a... What's it called? Uh, in an alliance with a Salafist nation. Because there's not really any Salafist nations around. So that, that could be insane. Uh, so what do I actually need now? I'm ahead on all tech. Alright. Except... Uh, tactical West. Yeah, well, is Israel is gonna be look even more thick when I actually annex Syria. And I just need to think. Right, I can take it down the first level by just using convoys alone because I have enough for that. And. Might as well train my Air Force again. Oh! My, uh, my, uh, my fuel is actually leaking well. I can, uh, I can ha s sustain my Air Force for like 130 days now. So that, that's nice. But again, now it's a waiting game because either I need to get uh, to annex Syria or uh, Saudi Arabia needs to uh, become uh, sal uh, Salafist. Then I'll be able to uh, to fight them. Oh damn! And let's increase. Yep, let's get some more uh, resources. I still don't want to trade any because I've got such a low construction, uh, well, such a low industry in general. So I can't really construct anything right now. I could put that down. Ah, uh, that yeah, I'll do that. Even though that goes against my uh, my fuel. But that um, that means less less civilian industries for consumer goods, and I can reduce the first level. Uh, let's just say thousands of these sent two thousand one. 
200. I might as well send as much of the industry I don't use as possible for faster annexation. Not industry, uh, equipment. What about tanks? Yep. Don't have any planes, All right? All right. As soon as I get this, I think I'll go for suppress subjects again. Hmm. Don't actually know if anyone would care if it if I attack them while they were non-aligned either, because there's no major major faction that's non-aligned, non-aligned. And they haven't even gotten to the point where they guarantee each other. Yeah, but taking Saudi Arabia, that would also increase my my oil production. Then I wouldn't have to worry about oil again. And all right, we're going for the intelligence for increased attack. Mm. Let's make some transport planes. Yeah, I don't think I'll I'll be attacking anyone until uh, I've actually taken down Syria, but I could. I could think about it being a good idea to take out Saudi Arabia. I don't think anyone will care. Right, and let's just press subject, so we can get Syria annexed, and I ran out of fuel. At uh, the point I reached, or what? The only cheats I've ever used in game is political power, and I've only done that sometimes because I wanted to start with different uh, uh, start factions. But usually I play it without cheats actually. Uh, but yeah, it's, at some points you get big enough that you can't be asked. Like usually when World War Three happens, if like I attack Saudi Arabia, 
and uh, and they just invite China or something into a faction, then that that's pretty much an end game thing uh, for me because I could take out Saudi Arabia, but then I would have to start building up a navy that I don't have yet to just invade all the way around to this point. So that that would that would probably be an end end game kind of thing for me if uh, if China decided to uh, to join Saudi Arabia or something like that. Oh, they got such a high depth as well. Why is it that everyone I conquer is just a dirt poor nation? If I actually had conquered Iraq, they would actually have mon money and uh, and surplus Turkey as well. And construction got increased, so I can increase resource gain efficiency as well. And more population. I'm looking forward to see how much my uh, my GDP will actually drop when I uh, when I take over Syria. Because they got close to no industry, like they're going in a deficit, like they got very high interest rate, and they're only paying. 0 0.6 billion I don't have very high and I'm paying 0 0.4 I probably won't even notice getting that that amount of depth yeah, they got 50% uh, interest rate so they have a high population but close to no factories yeah oh but that might be the problem or what no <laughs> All right, they have one military factory. That is it. No, they're building one military factory. They don't actually have any factories at all. Yeah. So that that's really gonna cause my uh, my GDP per capita to uh, plummet because I won't get any increase in income, but I'll get uh, get more population. But in reality, I will get uh, an increase in uh, in taxes because I got the high population tax. And my tax is only at like one one billion now. But Kurdistan is already a puppet, so I don't really want to give them a bailout. If it was actually pub possible for me to uh, to take over the nation like I can Egypt, I would. Oh, I just noticed I had a lot of political power. I also still need... I'm waiting until I get uh, get 15 uh, cylinder factories, but I need to try and build one of those ballistic missile silos to see if that's what's causing me to not be able to fire up my satellites.
All right, and I'm actually I almost doubled my uh, my fuel stockpile capacity because just only having enough fuel for like 100 days of war or 30 days of war as I had when I was fighting Syria that's that's not gonna that's not gonna be enough. Thanks, Japan, and I'll see you. It's kind of insane that my uh, economic cycle hasn't increased yet. I've had a depression for quite a while now. Like an entire year or something like that. Do they actually not? They have no elections. I just wondered when the, the Solfest would take over, but they probably won't. So... I'm just gonna attack them. Anyway. Right, uh, I'll just... I need to be right back. I need to take a piss. And I'm back. And how long did it actually take? Alright, it's gonna take a little under a year. Alright, I won't actually be able to annex Syria by then, but uh, it's alright. And I, I more than doubled my uh, my fuel capacity. So once I've trained these guys, I'll just oh finally. I like to keep up the boom.
even though it says that the market might crash, but right now my market is at the lowest point. I just increased it from depression, so it's not that much of a gamble for me. And I just noticed, I don't know if these are supposed to be able to be taken without having the prior as well. Seeing as like uh, I'd rather just take the minus fifteen. Don't know if it's uh, if it all increases like if the fif minus fifteen plus minus uh, five is actually twenty. Then it doesn't really matter. Then it's fine like it is. And. Surface radius. Yeah, I'll go go for the submarines again. Oh, he actually leveled up to level th three. Oh, and almost level four. I didn't figure I had been enough war because I've been steamrolling pretty much everyone I've been fighting. And these guys are looking good as well as well. Alright, for now I'll just... Oh, I'm actually in a surplus. I was just about to say, for now I would just increase my uh, cupboard... Uh, what happened? Oh, additional expenses, that's what happened. Like, I should have a larger army, but currently my economy doesn't really support me uh, in, in, in making it any bigger. And Syria is just taking on depths like there's no tomorrow. That's not good for me either. Do I actually lack something? No. But artillery I could upgrade, yeah. Actually, I'll just stop doing transport planes. Because the larger air force, that's actually one of the biggest strains on... Well, Navy is the biggest strain. If you have one. Uh, but uh, the defense budget. See, my air force, that's, that's the combination of my army and Navy together right now. So, the Libyan civil war has happened. Let's just see, because sometimes a nationalist happens as well. If they do, I should think about supporting them and then just influence them.
Oh, please don't go into depression. Oh, damn it. I just got a, up from uh, from depression to re uh, regression. Recession. <sighs> Alright. And I'm just hitting the point soon. I, I, Alright. I could actually... I was just about to say that. I was about to hit the point where I need to pick research project. That's five at the time. But... Oh, I also got that. Alright. Never mind. But I could expand my uh, my submarines just in case someone wants to attack me. Uh, at the moment I'm just getting uh, convoys though. Oh, I am out of fuel. That's just too much. Best thing that could happen if they default and I somehow get the... They won't pay it and I get the... The war option. But because that's forever, so I can just sit around waiting until I actually decide to attack them. Oh, also, it could be that I didn't want to. Yeah, I've been trying to influence them actually, so that might not be the best idea. Oh, I wondered why I was not getting a fuel as fast as I should, but that's due to the fact that uh, I actually got a lot of more civilian factories now. And I'm lagging tra- no, I'm not. I'm, ex I'm actually lagging trucks. Oh, I also just threw down uh, three extra, so that might be why. But the Saudi economy is really going to destroy me once I annex them. If I annex them, I gotta say, because I still don't know if they just pull in some major ally once I attack them. Nothing, so let's try to look at my navy. I'm going for the cheapest navy possible.
Hmm, maybe we should actually go for... Where is it? This one. Just in case it actually does something that I don't know. I can decrease their autonomy and next time they'll be annexed and let's just reduce the independence as much as possible The only problem with Egypt right now is I both need to reduce the independence and I need to boost, uh, man manipulate the politics so it's a nationalist uh, party that gets uh, elected and then I need to power them. So it's it's a long haul with the influence politics on uh, Egypt. Oh, and Sweden joined the Kalmar Union. Uh -uh. I still got all these APCs, but nothing that can actually be sent to. Oh, that's the same dude in charge again. That's the dude I beat to take over the country. So the APCs I can't send to reduce because they are actually from other nations. So I'll just delete them. All the APCs I had myself I accidentally deleted to begin with. That was that was not good. But I'm cleaning out my inventory because that everything you have in an inventory also costs money to maintain. I should have done this earlier, but uh, often I forget about this. The the heaviest uh, cost is actually uh, planes. So that's that's the one you should get rid of the most. If you're not using planes, you should get rid of them. But mil American military ex uh, assistance. So I actually want to refuse them. That gives me more. Well, more long term effects. This is all short term.
That's one unstable neighbor. Well, I wonder who that is. It could be Syria, and it could be Egypt, and it could be Iraq. And it could be Saudi Arabia. They're all unstable due to the fact that the economy is horrible, but other than that, I don't know why they should be unstable. Do they have a lot of terrorism happening? Libya, Jordan. Well, Jordan is gone. Oh, the world tension has actually decreased quite a bit. But once I attack Saudi Arabia, it's bound to explode. Oh, I could actually have trained. I should have done that. But the problem is I've been too busy training my, uh, my Air Force, which is currently uh, just uh, refueling. And it's lovely that I just got full uh, logistics just before I'm uh, going to war. Oh, I actually have one. Alright, oh, I forgot. I don't have full logistics. I just need to increase the transport uh, and my logistics like uh, the trucks needed to run up to them uh, because that way I won't be losing troops to attrition and yeah we're looking at a point where I should start oh I can go navy still I forgot about that and I can never figure out what's the difference between Sona and Navy. Uh, so so Sona and Rada. Oh, that actually costs a uh, resource that I don't have. So let's just stick to Sona. And torpedoes. They are now. I also still haven't ch checked my... yeah, should also increase my uh, naval in invasion uh, capabilities. Right, so... It's fun to see if this makes or breaks my playthrough. After Saudi Arabia, I don't really have any other conquest plans. If I succeed in this, I can just focus on my... Uh, on my uh, warheads for now, uh, yeah. So let's see. If we can destroy them, They actually deployed some guys at Levant, so I'll just also deploy some. And when I'm out of Levant, I can take them back to the front line. And they're giving me convoys. 
And that's great, because I can use that to reduce Syria's serious, uh, independence. Oh wait, you guys need to not be doing... Actually, I'm a bit of trouble because I'm out of uh, fields. But so far they haven't joined a faction. That was the wrong window. I always hit the wrong. It's called a man. All right. So they actually call in the other Gulf Corporation, but that I don't mind that because they're not that strong, and I can take them all out at the same time. The problem will be if they, seeing as they're a faction now, if they actually call in some other uh, other nations, uh, invite them to the faction. And dude level up. That's great. Now let's take Fortress Bunga, but he's gonna be a armor specialist because I still don't have any specialists. And this dude hasn't leveled up yet. Only halfway there. This dude took uh, three levels at the time, the other dude only took one. I uh, haven't took, taken one yet. And. And I got the increased chance for attack, even though he doesn't really have that much. Ooh. I'm getting my ass kicked right now. And I don't have any supply. That might be it, though. So, we're going defensive for now. If I can. Doesn't actually seem like I'm able to go defensive right now. Problem is, my uh, my army is for fighting in mountains. It's not for fighting in. Uh in uh in desert so that that's kind of a problem and at the same time they're not receiving the supplies this should And I haven't called in Syria because they don't have an army. Oh damn. They can cut off a large portion of my army right now. Someone needs to redeploy. Why is no one redeploying? That's kind of shit. Yep, and that was the worst thing that could happen.
because now I got half my army trapped behind enemy lines with no supplies. And I'm running out of fuel. So where's my tractors playing at? Did they just disappear? All right. Let's see it. Where did my transport plane go? I didn't accidentally delete them, did I? Oh, yeah, I might have. I thought I was deleting transport helicopters, and I think I deleted my transport planes. So I have no way of supplying my troops stuck behind enemy lines. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This is quite bad. This is not good at all. That's just about the worst thing that could happen. Also seeing how I pushed in the beginning. I don't have enough troops to even man my front line if they, these guys disappear. And they will, because they're not getting supplies. And for some reason, that happened. Yeah, I'm gonna go for offense. Because if I survive this, I'm gonna be offensive anyway. Right, so I made a couple of mistakes during this war. First one was actually uh, letting my front line fall. The second one was actually uh, getting uh, deleting my uh, uh, my transport planes. That was quite a big one. And that they keep trying to attack, even though they should be defending, that's also annoying. It's just a matter of moments before these guys are destroyed. The only thing I can hope is I can train my new units fast enough to get them on the front line to actually have something to push back, back with before this happens. But I doubt it. Going total war. Even though that this will really ruin my economy totally. But I really need it. The fun thing is, like, my economy could also recover a bit from uh, my air force actually getting destroyed. Because I had such a huge air force to begin with.
I don't understand how they're holding out, though. That's quite, quite insane, actually. I did not... I'm playing as Israel, and I conquered all of Lebanon, uh, Hezbollah, uh, Palestine, Jordan. And then I attacked uh, Saudi Arabia, and I made a fatal mistake and got encircled. But if I get to deploy my troops, I should be able to actually uh, to uh, go in and swing around them once again. <laughs> yeah, but for now I'm getting my ass kicked, though. So you can be happy about that. I just need to see if I can actually push. I can. Oh, if I can actually get back to my troops, that's gonna be such a huge win. Because I thought I had lost these guys. Yeah, alright. I, yeah, I made it because I... Uh, I'm guessing that you didn't. You only meant it due to me being Israel and not as a a racial thing. Yes, they got relieved. I didn't lose it. That was half my army was uh, I was about to lose if I couldn't uh, relieve them. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Now's the time to push back, though. All right. Keep pushing. Oh, if I get this, if I get this uh, encircled, I'll encircle so many of the troops. I really need this to happen. Yes! If that doesn't destroy a large part of the army, I don't know what would. Oh no, they're taking it back. Come on, hold! Another one, insert no. They're only a circle, in circle for a short while. Oh, this is, I, I actually think this has been the most intense war that I ever tried, because I'm not sure who's going to win, to be honest. Uh, usually it's it's pretty one-sided, I feel like. Mm, IFV is first. I know this is uh, Millennium Dawn. So I started in 2000. Oh, they're really trying to encircle me. Oh, strange. And it's really a tug of war right now, but I think I'll stop my troops from pushing. Hopefully they won't push back too hard, because these guys should start to lose supplies at any given moment.
And I need some uh, some reinforcements to actually happen. Yeah, I know. I know you're not cheering for me though. And Alright, that might be one of the reasons why I'm not able to push through up here. So we're gonna put these two in the Levant. Then we need some air, some cast as well. And that's gonna be the actual cast. Alright, it seems I need some more support up here. Alright, and then we need to try. Oh, for fuck's sake. They're attacking me just as I was about to push. I need to wait with my push for now. I need my special forces here because they're good at fighting in mountains. So I need to take out that that one in the mountain. So, like this. And I... I find it fun because I've been declaring war on so many people, but still the entire world is supporting me with the convoys and such. Alright, let's try a different approach. I can only attack them head on. Yeah, I figured my tanks would be stronger. Then we'll just leave one tank division behind. But now, these guys are gonna be encircled. Wait, what happened? Why did my tanks flee? They were winning? Damn! What the fuck happened? I need my special forces over here and then tanks over here because that's the plane. Nah, I'm gonna destroy them. And then my tanks over here. Oh, what? Oh, that's not good. I need to keep pinning troops here because otherwise they'll just flee. I left my front line open. And research. My research is not nearly as interesting as that, as that war, though. These guys still need to retreat. And then let's take two tanks. Is that not enough? Alright. Oh, I just lost the tank division. I lost another. Oh, damn. Uh, 
Oh, my special forces just ran back. Hmm. I don't really know how to push this, and I don't understand why they're not, why they're not losing any, uh, like they're cut off, so they should take attrition. I don't know why that's not happening. Oh, and they have a lot of anti air guns. Oh, it's so annoying. They counter attack me every time I try to attack. Alright, I'm actually losing more troops than there. So, what is this? This is desert. How's, how does my tank division do in deserts? They do well. So I need to just push forward one, uh, uh, one, one brig, uh, one, uh, one state at a time. It seems because my large, large scale of scale offenses won't work. Did I just lost two mo more divisions. How's that happening? Why are they just getting destroyed while attacking? I have no like I have no idea why this is happening. Like this makes no sense to me. Like I got fully supplied troops that attacks is winning and then they disappear. That's that's really not great. Oh. Right, I've run out of supplies now. So I'll probably just sit uh sit here sit back and relax. Uh oh Kurdistan declared one Kurdistan. I hope Kurdistan wins. Nah, no way I'm gonna white peace. I'll much rather get destroyed. But the thing I don't understand, it might be due to the anti-air anti guns, because otherwise I don't understand why my air force is losing. That makes no sense to me. Yeah, I, I think that might be it. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure they don't. I I have the, I have the most up to date uh, air force. Also, I, I had like I, Israel starts with like 600 uh, planes. That's insane for such a minor nation. Uh, also, I haven't seen. I can soon annex Syria. But it's really insane, I don't understand how I kept, like, just getting destroyed. That makes no sense. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. Even even though they, these guys should be taking attrition, I have no idea why they're not taking attrition. But 
still, I just keep losing units trying to push into them. So I'm not gonna do that. For now, I'll have to just wait for them to uh, tire out. Also, I think my military production is stronger than uh, Saudi Arabia's is. Yeah, I'm scared. After losing like uh, five division, where I was winning and just suddenly lost them, that uh, that that makes me want to not commit suicide. I'm just gonna sit back and wait for everything is. Uh... <laughs> Thanks. But what I should do actually is to build up a supply depot or two. To make sure that my units are actually supplied. But it just makes no sense if that was it because they it didn't say that they were taking any uh, any supply damage. <laughs> keep trying. No, I'm not gonna keep trying. I'm I don't want to destroy my own playthrough by just th throwing my soldiers into a battle they keep losing for some reason that I don't understand. Because look at this. They're fully supplied, they're full organization. Yeah. They just get destroyed so quickly. Like, I don't understand that. Like if I <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. Once I get my new 3 uh 3 uh what's it called? Uh Tank battalions. I'll try to put them in here, and I'll see if I can actually push up with them. But if they just get destroyed again, that's that's I can't be out. Yeah, I'm gonna do it in a moment. But the problem is, I'm still playtesting, and I haven't uh, I haven't tried a lot of missiles yet because I've been waiting until I got a good industry. So I kind of need to do this uh, win this war before I can actually get a good industry. And my economy is just going to shit because I went total war. Also, it's, it's just so fun because I was pushing back Arabia. Then suddenly they just destroyed me. Then afterwards I pushed them back again. And then suddenly my troops just started dying because like I had lost no troops until I started doing the suicide missions. Alright. Now we actually need to take this the entire way around because I got Syria. So I actually need to deploy these guys because otherwise I most likely won't have the army to do it. And let's just swallow up Syria. Oh, they actually had one troop. And let's just destroy these guys. And yeah, my GDP just fell down through. Right. Oh. I just thought about something. No, they don't. I thought that they might actually have supplies through Iraq. But it doesn't seem like it. All right. Yes. Yeah. 
Yahoo! They're getting destroyed. Get wrecked. Alright, that I just want to see how much damage that did to the Oh that didn't actually do a lot. I figured I would kill a lot more soldiers. Yeah, exactly. Just because I got Syria I was able to encircle them. And this one. Oh but you they actually pushed back down here. Alright. I'm just gonna destroy those supply depots. They won't be needed for now, anyway. I just need to get a hold of my entire army. Uh, Navy. <laughs> Air Force. Alright. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to divide it up. I lost most of my air force though. He became adaptable, so that's nice. And as soon as they've gotten to the right point, I'll try to push again. And let's see. Why did they give up? What the fuck? These guys, yeah. Oh, if I can push entirely through, I'll be able to encircle them again. Come on. Yeah. Encircled again. And destroyed. Alright, that looked better. Two encirclements took out uh, 50,000 soldiers. Oh no, and they encircled me this time. Oh no, they destroyed my special forces that they encircled. I win some, I lose some. And suddenly I'm getting my ass kicked again. I still don't know why though. Alright, I need to get man pads instead because I'm out. Oh, 
they actually got quite a lot of enemy fighters now. Oh, they're really pushing back now. Like, I have no idea what just happened. Why they're suddenly pushing back. But they're really just steamrolling me now. This is so strange. Like, this, this entire war has been completely... Completely nonsense to me. I have no idea why suddenly I push back and they push back and... Yeah. I think it might be the Air Force alone that they have actually been pushing back with. Because when I moved in and they started having ash priority, I really got wrecked. Oh, but they left the front line. Trying to encircle, so ah, they pulled back, so I won't be able to do that. They just left a huge gap in the defense, so I figured I would try to actually just go by it. And again we reach the point where I can defend myself after being just steamrolled all the way back to this line. Oh, yeah, it's the F's priority that's wrecking me. This is still like one of the most insane wars I've been in.
Oh, I just looked at the clock. Oh, I should probably pause for now. But I'll definitely return to this wall. Right, and uh, thanks all you guys for following me. I really got a lot of followers this uh, playthrough. I have never tried having this many followers uh, join me. So, uh, well, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, I'll probably be back later today. But uh, see you guys.